Hello, gorgeous, gorgeous people of the internet and welcome to the four poster bed and rising heat from my lecky blankie, which is going to see me through winter without putting the heating on. Um, obviously, I've got all my swags as well. So it, it really gets very, very warm in here, really toasty. And me and Romeo were going to be curled up all winter. Um, do you know what? I've been doing these um, for my for my apps, my video apps. I've been making films for um, music and um, jazz piano, etc., etc., and art. And it's so cold now it's winter in the studio that I've decided I'm just going to film from the four poster. <laughs> now, I know you th probably think, well, how can you... I can't do music. That's a given. I can't play my cello in my four poster bed. But I don't mind doing a quick cello lesson. And in a minute, I'm going to do, go and do a quick jazz piano lesson. I don't mind doing that. We sort of do it first thing in the morning before it gets really, really cold in the evenings. Do you know what I mean? Not first thing in the morning, lunchtime, shall we say, just before lunch, like now, like 11 ish. Um, so I can, I can sort of bear that, put on a bully jumper, film for five minutes, off we go, bang, bang, done, all done and dusted. But actually, a keyboard you can play on your knee in bed. And I was thinking about how to get people to be more um, disciplined, I suppose. And I just find, especially in the winter nights when you... I mean, it's all right if you're really wealthy and you've got all the heating on. But isn't isn't it quite lonely if you go to a different room to practice? I used to have to go into a separate room to practice my piano. And it wasn't the fact that I had to practice. It This is when I was, you know, very young, seven, eight. It was more the fact that I was alone and I felt very alone. And it felt a bit like a punishment. Do you see? The company is so important for human beings. Now, I, I like the company of my cat. I just like that there's another living creature within earshot and vision. That it, it really does make you feel a bit more connected, I think, to the world. You can feel very, very disconnected. This is why I say to my students, when you're practising, try and have a window that you can look out of. Because it, it's Im immediately immersing. And you know that you're part of a bigger scheme of things. And that actually what that says to you is, I'm important. I'm an important thing in this universe because I can see the trees and I can see the sky and I'm part of it. Do you see what I mean? Anyway, on winter nights here in the UK, it was already getting dark at 4.30 in the afternoon. It was ridiculous o'clock, absolutely ridiculous. I'm not going to do any... Um, music lessons from the bed I'm just suggesting that if you've got a little keyboard you can pop it on your knee with your partner next to you or your cat or your dog and you can just tinker away for hours you know just tinkering I'm also it's not the you know it's not the best way if you've got an exam coming up or anything like that but you can sort of it's a kind of play around so why not you know I've got a little a tiny little electronic keyboard which I use for um, chord structures and things Jazz piano uh, are quite good because I can. Is it, the trouble is, it doesn't have the octaves, um, so you don't get you don't get quite enough training with it. But certainly, if you're starting, you know, and I think it's quite good for a child as well to have that capacity. You know, they're in their room on their own, um, but you know, rather than sort of going off somewhere, they're in very familiar, warm surroundings that that feel nice. Do you see what I mean? Anyway. So the, that's what I've been thinking today. But also, last night, it was so cold and the price of electricity has gone up and it's very, very difficult to heat the mansion. So I'm having to, you know, really sit in the four-post bed of the in the evenings when it gets really cold. I hate the cold. I can no longer blame it on, you know, arthritic ailments I, because I've been told I don't have them. Um, so I can't tell you that anymore. I feel like a complete fraud. But, you know, the, I, it was a part of a mel mental illness, so please forgive me. But, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not completely batty. Well, I am. Of course I am, we know that. Of course I am. All artists are completely batty. It's our prerogative, isn't it? Um, anyway, the artworks. Now, what I've got is I've got this table that you have for breakfast and it's got... 
It's wooden with a rim all round the edge so things don't fall off. You can't drop your scrambled egg or whatever. And it's got legs that fold in. And they're, st- they're standard. You can buy plastic ones. I just got a wooden one because I like wood. And I've been using it for crafting anyway. So I just put it over my, my duvet and sit up straight, pump all the pillows up so that you're not lying, you can't craft and lie down. Um, or cross-legged, because I love sitting cross-legged. Uh, I use it for my therapy classes and it's something that I find my body enjoys. So it's a really good way, I thought, of doing the art classes. So tonight, guys, I'm going to try and do an art class from the four-poster bed and... I mean, the thing with my camera is I don't have to... I can focus in on on what's in front of me. So it won't necessarily look like a bed. But I thought, what fun. What fun that is. Because after about eight o'clock, I do... I am in bed tinkering. I'm always drawing on my iPad, you know. Very uncomfortable stooped over a table with your iPad. Much easier just to have it on your knee. And I thought, well, I can do that... I can have the the camera pointed at my lap while I while I tinker away. So I'm working on some lovely artworks at the moment. They're going to be in the gallery um, in a couple of days. So yeah, how exciting! Do you know what? There's always a workaround, even when it's freezing. There's a workaround, and we'll look back on these times, and we will say, "Do you remember when electricity was so expensive? You had to stay in bed all winter." I mean, I don't need that as an excuse because I've been in bed all winter for about two decades. So, (laughs) Anyway, there we go. That's my thought for the day. Do it in bed. It's much more comfortable and it's warmer and it's going to save you fortunes. My electric blanket costs so little per day compared to the heating. I think my heating's about £2.50 a day. £2.50? I mean, what is that? It's like $300, $350, something like that a day. And my electric blanket is about 5p, 5 pence, 10 cents maybe. I don't know what the exchange rate is. But, I mean, how good is that? That's very cool, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, pop along also to my new website, telltellerclub.com, which is a, a blog website. And you can just have, you can see, as soon as you go in, you can see all the latest editions of this broadcast. I thought, no, I need to get everything in an organised fashion so people can find me, because nobody can find me at the moment. I'm, I feel I'm being too far too quiet. Well, of course, I'm not really. I'm quite loud, actually. Anyway, what have I got coming up? Well, I'm having a throat tattoo on Friday. I'm very nervous about it. Very, very nervous. Because the last tattoo, tattoo I had was so extreme that I, I was nearly hospitalised because it was too big and it was a a disgusting soggy allergic um, freaking out mess and it took a year to heal can you believe a year to heal and then I've had to go in and and correct some bits of it um, which was none too pleasant you know I think the first thing to remember about tattoos is they they can take a long time to heal especially a very big one well I'm not having anything too massive on my throat because I'm so scared. <clears throat> so it's a girl called Helena Heath. Well, a woman. I call her a girl because I've known her since she was about 17. And she used to draw little pictures of my children, little, um, you know, sort of portraits. Well, portraits, yeah. And um, I think, you know, I I really enjoyed watching her progress into a professional tattooist. So her name's Helena Heath. She is from a place called Gosport in the UK. And her portraits are amazing. I'm not having a portrait. I'm having either a moth or a butterfly. I'm not sure. I'm extremely nervous. She keeps telling me not to worry, but I just think, well, do you know what? I am bloody worried. (laughs) But I've I've had to stop bugging her because I'm there on my Facebook, you know. What are we doing? Because I don't know what we're doing yet. And I want to see something. Do You you know, I want to be prepared before I go in that I know what I'm going to get so that I can keep calm and I can... You know, because the pain's going to be excruciating. It's very uncomfortable, apparently. I've got to lie in this weird position. But I'll take photographs, if she'll let me, of the during process. Couple, you know, and pop those up on the blog. So new blog, telltellerclub.com or iServland.com, whichever you prefer. I mean, they're both very similar. Um, 
I guess one's a bit more arty and one's a bit more music. Okay, so the Tale Teller Club one's the more arty one and the Ice Overland one is a bit more music and a bit more video. But, you know, that everything's on both of them, so it kind of doesn't matter which one you you get to, really. Um, so, yeah, how exciting, getting a tattoo. And then I'm doing something even more exciting on Sunday, or possibly not. Well, no, it's more exciting. I've got a date with my grandson, and I'm very, very excited about it indeed. So I've never taken, well, no, I have taken him out actually before, but it was many, many years ago. So I'm going to take him out to my club, the Soho House in Brighton, which is a nice posh lunch. I thought that'll be a really nice place to take him. He's eight. So, um, and my daughter, not his mum, another daughter, is coming also. So it's going to be an absolutely splendid day, family lamb, over at the Soho House in Brighton. It's called Brighton Beach House, if you want to look it up. Um, it's it's okay. It's it's not my favourite place to go, but it's great for food and for meeting the family because they all live in Brighton. So um, I prefer the London one, and I prefer the um, the Berlin one as well. I went there with my friend Delilah J, who's also very famous. Um, she's been on telly a lot, so you might want to go and look her up too. Um, so there we go. That's my updates for today, and no doubt I'll have some more tomorrow because I'll be searching to find good tattoos and giving you the heads up about that. And talking tattoos, we'll be doing some more on myself in the coming days or weeks. And do you know what? Funnily enough, it, I don't recommend having too many tattoos in a week, even if they're different parts of your body. Um, because your body ha- actually has to fight off a lot when it's being invaded with tattoo ink. It has to be really, really strong and forthright. And your immune system has to get, you know, a bit rock and roll with all this ink and it it will try to expel it it's natural that your body will try to expel the inks allergies a bit different that's when things go absolutely nuts but also going deep is a bit different um so yeah you've got all these kind of danger um triggers uh, all in you know in one body with one brain with one immune system so i wouldn't ever recommend that so i'll probably wait till next week but we'll have a look at some designs today, perhaps, on the blog. I'd like to do that. Um, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do a tattoo blog in a minute, trying to think what I'm going to do on my legs. Um, I'd like to do quite a few on my legs between now and summer so that I can sort of, you know, expose them a bit, especially now I'm doing weight training again. So a bit of weights today as well, a bit of keep fit for the new TV show. That's um, iserverland.vhx.tv, I think. Um, I'm, but it's on my that's on my blog as well, so you can go and find that. And that's a subscription only video channel for all my keep fit and diet stuff. So it's very exciting too. Everything's too exciting at the moment, actually, guys. Really, um, it's a difficult time winter to be happy, especially if you get sad. That's S A D. That's seasonal adjustment disorder, which I don't believe I get, but I might think about some extra vitamin d just in case um, because i'm in bed such a lot <laughs> and it gets dark at 4 30 and i'm i'm seldom out during the day and i'm i have no sunshine um so i might start taking a bit of d- vitamin d today and you know get the old tattoo body ready to to launch the granny bod um on on the internet on the world and I'm quite into the slow process at the moment. I've been doing everything really fast. And now I'm thinking what I need to do is one thing a day really, really well. Do you see? I think that's all you have to do. And rather than just shove it up on the internet, do it really well, produced really well, looking fabulous and lovely, and all the right links and all the right descriptions and getting rid of any rubbish you know I think giving people uh, a nice clear inspiring vision that's what that's what I'm going to focus on today and for the and for the rest of the winter actually um so there we go that's me waffling on for the morning more coming in a minute because I'm doing a ringtone and I'm doing a jazz lesson and I'm going to do a bit of keep fit it's all going on guys all going on <laughs> 